So my name is Christine Murakami. I'm from Columbus, Ohio, and I have, for the past three and a half years, had a service learning course specifically targeted to get girls interested in computer science. Computer science is not something that girls are naturally attracted to. So what I offer them is service, teaching, travel, um, and uh, uh, kids. And what they have to get through to get there is is computer science. So we take donated computers, we refurbish them, repair them, learn about sugar operating system, and learn each choice and then the capstone of the course is to travel to the US Virgin Islands in St. John and and teach the kids <laughs> Teach the kids how to use um, e-toys. There is a non-trivial cuteness factor to this little computer too, so you can't discount the fact that, that teenage girls are attracted to what's cute. So this is really actually really non-trivial. Um, and the other thing that I like about the computer is that it, um, it's uh, the the, the, um, the sugar operating system no one no one has ever seen before. So everybody starts at a level playing field. So there's no efficacy issues like I'm good at computers or I'm bad at computers. So everybody's welcome. Everybody's attracted to this program. Then they learn the computer science and they say, oh, I can do this. And they learn the e-toys and they do problem solving. So one of the pieces of this curriculum that, that happened after the first year, they came back from their first trip and they all came back and said, what now? And I was completely unprepared for what comes next because I was ready to start over again with a new set of students. And I didn't have anything for the, for the returning students to do. But I've since then changed that. And so what we have going on is several different things. Is I sit down with those kids who are returning and say, okay, what do you think is necessary? What are we missing? What pieces should you, would you like to work on? Um, and so what we've done is we've developed a website and I don't know if you want to focus on the website. But we've now collected and developed um, a variety of curriculum that we hope will be used worldwide and um, in, in a variety of different areas. So we have a set of lessons on sanitation, a set of lessons on malaria, a set of lessons on music, a set on art, um, and we're going to continue to develop these. So, so for example, last year we did a set of lessons on, on on art and we talked to our Columbus School for Girls art teacher and said can you help us develop this scope and sequence for this art for lower school students so all the kids had the experience of developing a lesson learning e-toys even more deeply and then we have our website up with all these different curriculum resources so one of my students who had just finished her sanitation curriculum who had not traveled said came to me and said what next and I said well we have this long conversation about what could come next and she happens to be a second generation Egyptian and had just just helps her um, extended family immigrate to the United States in the aftermath of the Egyptian Spring. So she said, well, what if I raised enough money to buy $100 laptops to go to Egypt and bring these there? So we got into this great long conversation about how that could happen, and she's um, partnered with an organization that focuses on Egypt, Hands Along the Nile. They selected um, a two, two schools that focus on early childhood literacy. One is for girls and one is for boys. They um, are what's called the um, garbage people. So they collect garbage, um, they use what they can, they sort through it, they create crafts out of out of what they can and sell it, and that's their livelihood. So they're, they're some of the poorest of the poor in Egypt. And so she is um, more than halfway through raising money to try and do this. And so she's been, she's kind of an extreme in terms of getting the, the students to have these big dreams and big projects. So um, anyway, a couple, a couple of leaving messages is to go to our website, use it, Use the information if you want. Yes. Go to her blog and, and help us out. <laughs> so. cool.